Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, that hurt, that one hurt. How are you? You okay? I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and stuff she does with nails to start with. Nail stuff and stuff and nails. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm going to start today's set with Birthday Suit, which is a gel perfection colour that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. There's already yellow on my nails because this wasn't the one I did first. I've put them in a weird order. I'm not I'm not sure why. Um, so I did all five, no, how many nails? Oh, <laughs> did you notice the thumbnail? Oh my goodness. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, so I'm taking Miss Sunshine, <laughs> it's not that funny, um, and, <laughs> and I'm going to do some drips. We're doing a honey theme set because honey. I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm doing some drips. I've put, um, just sort of put some product polish on my brush and then I um, sort of let it blob onto the nail and then just dragged it up. And then I've done a straight line across the top. And always when you're doing drips, make sure you curve. So you don't want a straight line going into a straight line because that's not how stuff works. Um, honey, honey and paint and blood and other things you might paint dripping on a nail. Um, so curve the edges and I'm going to bring down um, a couple more dips, I think. Um, so just uh, what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? Where I go back into the long drip is because I put, there was quite a lot at the very bottom of the drip and I didn't want it to be like a raised um, drip. I just, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be as flat as possible. So I was using some of that product elsewhere. So taking it from the drip and then using it on the top portion. Um, I suspect I'm not doing too well at this voiceover, <laughs> but I'm going to carry on. So I'm taking this bit here, um, between the two drips, I bought down a, down a smidge just to give a different kind of drippy look. Um, and now I'm taking, ah oh shoot, something that I mixed up in a nail I did before this, but we won't see it yet because I've put them in a weird order. So I guess I'll just have to stick around. Um, I've mixed some of the yellow with some brown that I, brown, some brown that I use at some point, but I'd already used at this point. Um, so I've mixed some yellow and some brown with some base coat. So it's a sheer and I'm going for um, just a kind of bit of contouring, I think. A bit of highlight and contour, you know, a bit of blush. Um, not blush. Uh, so I'm doing that on one side of the drips. I was just guessing, not guessing, just doing the darker bits on one side. And now I've mixed the yellow with white, which is Alaska. Um and I'm going to do the sort of highlights. I didn't, you know, is this where they would be? The, the dark bits and the light bits? I don't know. It is where they'll be on this nail. <laughs> so I've mixed, yes. Yeah, so the, the shadowy one I did was mixed with base coat because it will be sheer that way so we can give some shading without blocking out the color underneath too much. Things at the end. Megatron. <laughs> That was me laughing because I'll tell you in a sec. I'm taking iced mocha and I'm going, doing the same as sort of the same side that I did with the shading, but I'm going to outline. So I'm not going over the shaded area, but I'm just outlining that side. I just felt like it needed a bit more. However, you'll notice the nail looks matte. It is matte now because I did this in the wrong order. I added this brown line as an afterthought. So here I am before doing that, and I've put it in the order that you would do it in. I hope I haven't confused by doing that. So this was the yellow finished, and let's pretend the brown's on there as well. And then I'm topping the whole thing with Make It Velvet, and then I'm going to cure that, and I'm going to top just the yellow and the brown with, <laughs> with diamond gloss, of course, of course. So it was after this that I thought, hmm, no, something's missing. So that's when I added the brown. Um, but obviously you would do it in the order that I've done it in the video. 
So what I was laughing at, I was watching um, Simply Podlogical, a Simply Neological podcast, and Ben, Ben, was explaining to Christine something about Avengers Endgame, and he said, and then the bad guy, and she said, Megatron. <laughs> and it was so sweet the way she said it, like, Megatron. <laughs> Anyway, it tickled me. <laughs> Make it <drunk. laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we are now <laughs> we are now taking the first base, uh, and I'm doing a very thin, not a full coat, just in a sort of diagonal across the nail. Very thin. I'm taking this glitter, which again I talk about. I don't talk about, but I show you. Um, in a nail that's further along in the video. You're just gonna have to watch to the end if you want any idea as to what's being used. Um, so I'm taking these gold hexagons and I'm just going to place them. The reason that I've done a very thin sort of application of the base coat is so they don't swim around too much. Um, and they're just kind of gonna stay where I put them and then where I, where I faff them. Uh, so I'm going for a kind of, I don't know, honeycomb, you know, hexagon stuffs. Uh, I based this whole set, why am I doing a set with honey? You might ask. Um, I, <laughs> firstly, I love honey. I love honey. Bears like honey and I'm a poo bear, so I do care. And do you remember that time when Winnie the Pooh got stuck in the rabbit hole because he ate too much honey? <laughs> you look at me like like we were there. Um, I There's some cereal that's it's special K with honey and the front of the box looked really nice. <laughs> so I thought, yes, that's the next set. Um, yeah, so I, <laughs> I cured the hexagons in place after fiddling around with them for a bit. And I'm now topping with super base. So I'm not topping as in final top, but topping as in putting it on top. Um, because I want to seal in the hexagons, obviously where the nails curved and the hexagons are flat, the bits that are sort of on any curved areas, I want to make sure they're all sealed in and not poking out anywhere because you can't, I don't want to buff any pokey out bits because it will take the shape of the hexagon off. So I, I covered it with super base, which is a rubber base coat. Um, and then I cured that and I topped it with make it velvet again. Velvet. I have to use my velvet voice for that. Um, there's nothing velvety about my voice. <laughs> it's all gravelly. Um, and now I'm topping over the hexagons with diamond gloss. So I know I harp on about not going over a sort of dry topped, you know, like a finished surface with another gel polish because it won't have really anything to grip to. But with the Make It Velvet, it, it's, you know, it's almost, it doesn't feel like a buffed surface. It feels like velvet, uh, but it's, you know, I would say gritty enough. No, it's not gritty. It's super smooth and velvety, but it's, you know, it's not slippery like um, a dry, shiny, no white top coat would be once cured. You know, this this will stick on it fine. Um, I think <laughs> that's my theory. It's fine. Uh, so I'm covering the hexagons with diamond gloss and then I will cure those and that will be that. Um, I sort of tried to work quite quickly. I suppose you could flash as you go maybe not sh yeah you probably could um just because you don't want it to pull outside of the hexagons because then you'll have um some shiny nude around the edges uh, but that's that one i quite like it um still i mean it's honey themed oh look that one's <gasps> i see one that's wonk majonk damn it oh well uh so yeah, it, it's honey themed, but it's kind of cute anyway. You could do a number of things, things with that kind of, uh, on that basis. Uh, so I'm now taking Miss Sunshine. Uh, again, all gel perfection polishes. And I'm going to do, do I do one or two coats? I think it covered in one. Um, and I'm going to do this kind of shape. Um, <laughs> a V, an upside down V, an A whatever, this shape, uh, which I saw, I did Google, um, I went on Pinterest, beg your pardon, and looked at um, honey nails. I was surprised at the results. There were actual results. Um, and Home of Diva had done a set. I should have just recreated her set, 
because it, it's, you know, it, they're all lovely, all her sets are amazing, but I decided just to take this aspect from it, which is this shape of yellow, um, which we're going to fill in to make a honeycomb. Uh, so I started off with the brush, easier just to get the bulk on with the bottle brush, and then using a detail brush just to create this shape. Um, yeah, I was kind of tipsy when I did these. I did them in uh, the other day and then decided I didn't like them. So I redid them, but I kind of did it the same. <laughs> There's There was logic, I guess, somewhere in there. Um, so this is Rustic Beauty and this is where I got the gold uh, hollow dots from. And I'm on this one, I've cured the yellow and I'm placing one dot just on a tiny bit of base coat um, dot hexagon, let's say dots, um, placing that, lining up the side with the side of, this is cut so much, I was there for several minutes doing that, um, and I cured that in place, and the reason I've popped one of those on there, because we are going to put more on, but I think, it, I figured it would be, um, you know, it would help draw the rest of the shapes, um, it's our guide, so I don't do the best job, and I think the reason... I did it a second time was because the first one looked cool but once you've done something once you know what you would do differently and I wasn't happy enough with it to you know show you the first set <laughs> they weren't that bad but I thought I can do it better if I do it again so uh, these hexagons dots well oh, for goodness sake honeycombs um, once you've done a few of them it gets easier because once you've done two next to each other, you've got two lines or two sides of the next one. So I just kept going like that. They're not all even, but once they're all on, it's kind of, you know, my advice would be, see how quickly I just did that? Amazing. Um, I actually cured this and then went over them again just to um, uh, make the colour a bit more pigmented. Um, oh, yes, and that is the Miss Sunshine mixed with Alaska that we used earlier for the highlights on the dripping honey. Um, what was I saying? Yes, my advice for this would be, it's not the best advice, would be get a stamping plate that has honeycomb pattern on it. Done. Um, but this way, you know, it took a little bit, but I was quite content. Just la di da up there in the dark with just my desk light on and my glass of Baileys. So I'm now mixing, this is the... Um, the shading colour. So I'm mixing the Iced Mocha, the Miss Sunshine and some base coat and then just throwing in some of the Alaska and Miss Sunshine mix just to get a darker, I mean if you had a darker colour that was similar you could use that but it's best to use colours that you're using and mix them because you know it's going to be of the same sort of, it's going to be in the same part of the spectrum, that little colour family. So I'm adding tiny bits, I've done the highlights on the left of each hexagon and now, because this is a sheer, because it's got the base coat in it, you don't need to be neat um, because it's not going to have a harsh edge. Uh, it will just kind of, you don't need to work on fading it out or anything because it is sheer. So like I say, there's no harsh line. Just just put a little sort of blob in that area. And I just, I did it in a kind of, you know, sideways V to match the hexagon, but didn't worry about fading it out or blending it. Blending is the word I'm looking for. No, fading. Fuck me. Um, so I'm now, I've cured that and I'm now just going to outline the shape with iced mocha. And it's at this point I realise um, it's kind of looking a bit corn on the cobby. Is it not? Don't you love a corn on the cob? <gasps> a corn on the cob done on a barbecue is just... Anyway, honey. So what am I doing now? Oh yes, I'm adding some bits of base coat. I'm not going to cure them, just adding it to a few. And every time I turned to pick up more base coat, I couldn't remember where I'd put it. So this was kind of a guess. And then I'm just going to use that to stick down a few of the gold dots and uh, then I'll cure them in place. Uh, and that will just keep them there so that when we top, we can seal them all in. And I thought I'd do a few in a little cluster and then a couple of other random ones. It was really hard not to do just a shit ton of them because, you know, the hollow, it draws me in. Um, but we, we left it at just a few and then I'm going to cure that. And now 
this was weird. I didn't know how to go about the order of doing this. So I'm doing Make It Velvet on the nude part. So I'm going at the angle I want it to um, go up to, but then I'm brushing straight upwards because even though I don't get streaks with Gel Perfection matte top coats, the brands that I used to use would sometimes leave brush strokes. So I'm really funny about making sure that I finish on an upward stroke, even though I had to go sideways to get with that V. Um, and then I took these gold stickers, which are from Diamond Glitters, and thought, hmm, should I have put some along there? Probably should have, would have looked really nice. Didn't. Uh, <laughs> but I'm taking one of these, which took m several minutes to um, get off and put on, because, again, the Baileys played a significant role in this set. Uh, so I plonked that on there. So that's going on to the matte, because I didn't want to put that on first, and then matte although the shiny would have bought that. And this is the order I decided to do it in because I want this circle to stay shiny. So I'm going to press that in and then what? Well, I didn't want to have to mat around it or and I didn't want to mat over it. Although if I then went and did a shiny over it, it would have been shiny again. But this is how, this is what happened. <laughs> so I'm doing super base again, which is the rubber base coat over the honeycomb just because again, I want to seal in those hexagons um, before topping. I don't, I mean, I could have just topped with super gloss, um, but I, I'm doing super base um, because then I think I do super gloss that area uh, just so it's got a double sort of double rubber, you know, you know, <laughs> don't go there. Um, it's got two layers of rubber something rubber base and then rubber top just to really seal in those hexagons so no bits are poking out and then I'm taking diamond gloss and I'm going to seal in the sticker and yeah this is kind of a weird order but I wanted the sticker shiny but on a matte surface and I'm going to put a crystal inside it so I was thinking I didn't want to have to I never really want to have to do detail with matte top coat like topping the dripping honey with diamond gloss was okay. But if I had to, I don't want to mat in little areas because I worry that it might be patchy. Um, so I'm now doing super gloss over the honeycomb as well. So it's now got the rubber base and the rubber top. Those hexagons are not poking out anywhere. It's not going to be bumpy. Uh, so they're all sealed in. And then I think I decided to use super gloss to set a crystal in. Yes. Normally I'd use super base because I would then top around the crystal, but because I've already matte topped, I'm just using um, super gloss. And I'm taking these topaz crystals, also from Diamond Glitters. And um, I'm going, all right, we've seen them. Um, I'm going to drop it into the wet gel. If that was a person, I'd probably wipe, wipe the crystal or get a different one. Uh, but I've popped that into the wet super gloss. Um, in hindsight, because, you know, I had no current sight uh, at the time. Uh, in hindsight, I should have done the crystal in, popped it into some super base, the rubber base coat, and then topped the sticker, the circle sticker, that would have sealed in the crystal and topped the circle sticker. But I did it that way because I was clearly being quite illogical about the whole thing. Uh, I'm now taking Miss Sunshine again and I'm going to write, oh honey, oh honey, don't know why. Yes, so there's, there's six nails in this video <laughs> because I, yeah, I was a bit tipsy. Apparently I can't count to five. <laughs> But one of them's just a glitter, so it's fine. It wasn't it wasn't too much effort. Uh, so I'm writing Oh Honey in Miss Sunshine. I'm doing any sort of joined up bits at the end, um, like on the H. I do the straight line first, and then once I've finished it, I'll add the curve. Because if you put gel very close to gel, it will sort of draw into itself. So I try not to leave... Um, any gel really close to itself, like the middle of that E, for example. Had I been, you know, being a bit more careful, I would have done a bit of the E, but not not, not the bit that would make the other bit near the other bit. You know what I mean? So I do like a C, and then I wouldn't do the bit that joins in the middle. 
until I'd done the rest of the stuff just so it didn't blob back together but it was okay and I didn't care at the time <laughs> so I'm adding some little honey drips at the end of the H's and then we will cure that and then I got a bit faffy um, because I thought it didn't look it wasn't as um, sort of crisp as I as I wanted so I took some uh, la, 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 my brain has just shut down ice mocha uh, and I'm doing the thinnest outline ever because I thought I don't want a big, bold brown outline, but I do want an outline. So I was doing it really, really thin and thought that's kind of OK. And then continued as I do thinking that'll do. Let's do some more. So I'm just doing a very, very, very thin outline with the iced mocha and then I'll cure that. And then I do the same, I do some highlights. And then I don't think I did any of the sort of shading mix that we made. I think I just do the highlights and then I do something else instead. So this is the Miss Sunshine and Alaska, which is the white uh, mixed together. And I'm just doing it to the left, to the left, to the left. Again, um, with no rhyme or reason, just figuring let's put them all on one side and that all makes sense. Uh, we had a message. Uh, I haven't got a lovers and haters. Haven't had a hater. Not since uh, since the last girl who told me to do my damn nails. And I said, no, f*** you. <laughs> um, but we did have a message from Kerry who said, please put me in your lovers section. Hubby and I play the drinking game every time you said doo-doo. <laughs> I didn't realise I said it a lot. Um, I was not hanging drunk by the end. The nails look great to me after a bunch of grey goose shots. Did they not? Did they not look nice before those? Um, your cursing also needs to not be bleeped. Yeah, I have started to bleep some. It depends what kind of mood I'm in. Um, I try and bleep the Fs just because I know a lot of people's like kids watch it. I get messages of people saying their their young kids watch it, so I don't want to, you know, bollocks <laughs> all over the place. Um, so I do, I do beep. Do beat the naughty ones out. Uh, so I've now taken... She also said her and her husband sing Diamond Gloss. So that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, the side that I would have done the shading on, on these letters, I just did the outline in the iced mocha, the brown, um, just to give it a bit more... I don't know. Does it give it a bit more whatever? Maybe. Um, just kind of, I think it kind of lifts it off the nail a bit. It's not as kind of flat. Uh, so I've cured that and I'm topping that with make it velvet, velvet. And then I went over the writing with diamond gloss, of course, of course. Uh, and I, I, oh, oh, I was looking at my palette again. So a few of you asked about this. Um, one of the gang friends one of the sus subscribers uh made this for me and it's amazing i'm obsessed with it i love it so much um and she is i know a few of you asked she is going to be having an etsy shop at some point so i will keep you posted um and you can head over there once she's doing them and get yourself a nice sparkly palette uh, so here i am just topping the letters with um diamond gloss and then i, I really liked a lot of these nails matte like the hexagon, the one that went diagonally across the nail, I thought it looked really cool in matte. Uh, but because I'd done some matte and some shiny aspects on like the main nail, um, the honeycomb one, then I figured I'll just do them all like that. So I've gone over that with diamond gloss and cured it. And that is that. I don't even know if you can tell what it says. I tried to join up the N and the E, but I didn't really have room. So whatever. It was a, it was a kind of last minute thought, this one. Um, so this one here, again, I had to cut a lot of me fiddling around with that striping tape. I spent about four days trying to find the end of it. That's a bit of an exaggeration. It was probably about four minutes, but it felt like four days. So I ended up just kind of hacking into it and making my own end, which I just destroyed it. But hey ho, we got it for this nail. That's all that matters. The next time I want to use it is future Joe's problem. So I'm going to place that on there and just cut it. I'm sh I've been shouting this whole time, haven't I? Sorry. Um, that's what the volume control is for. Um, so I'm going to lift up. I'm going to show you my thumb um, and just cut it a little bit shy of the top and bottom because you always want to do that with striping tape so that you can seal it in. Otherwise it will 
uh, peel off and I'm going to pop some what was that super bass oh yes then I forgot to press um, record but then I yeah I stopped while I was faffing about trying to get uh, the right crystal so I've popped a crystal and then a few caviar beads either side and now I am topping it with make it velvet um, I had actually topped it with diamond gloss but didn't like it all shiny so I'm going over diamond gloss which is like a big no-no don't paint on top of a shiny dry um, top coat it won't have much to grip to but this is a pop she's this pop has no plans they're not going anywhere it's not doing any washing up it'll be fine uh, so I'm just ignore everything I just said it, don't top it with diamond gloss top it with matte and oh, I liked that too I was obviously in a matte kind of mood uh, but then I decided to take diamond gloss and just go over the um, striping tape down the center which was the plan um, anyway so we're going down the center with that and then I think this is obviously the point where or at some point I hadn't counted how many nails I did and because this was the second time I was doing the set and I changed I changed a few things um, so I wasn't sure how many I'd done so we did another one this is a little bonus nail um, but I like this I, I'm glad I topped down the center I thought that looked quite cool so I'm going to cover a nail with Miss Sunshine and then I'm going to sugar some glitter on this the reason I've done Miss Sunshine is because I think the color underneath the glitter I mean not much if it's not an iridescent glitter which they aren't um, but it can sometimes sort of give it just tint it just a tiny bit maybe does it we'll see uh, so I've cured the yellow and now I'm doing a coat of diamond gloss but I'm not going to cure it because we're going to sugar some glitter we're going to mix copper penny and champagne metallic um, that's a really fine one so I'm mixing those two together and then I thought I wanted it a bit more yellowy so I added some light gold metallic which is a more of a yellow gold so I'm going to mix those together I love mixing glitters together especially like if a client says oh I like you know she wants two glitters but she wants somewhere in between I'm like we're gonna mix this up okay we're gonna get sciency over here uh, so I'm pouring that over the wet diamond gloss. This is not how I do it on a person. I put paper underneath them and then just, you know, just don't worry about the mess. Uh, but I was trying to get it in the trays and then swapping the trays over. And then some of the Rustic Beauty glitter landed on it. But there you go. So this one has been topped and I've dusted off the excess. And that's it. Sugared nail nice and easy. I think considering this set was based on me thinking I had some large gold hexagons turns out I didn't uh, they turned out okay I hope you think they're sweet do you get it um, you can follow me on TikTok there's only a few videos on there I'm still new to it uh, but you can follow me on there you can follow me on Instagram and if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one bye bye